everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to review a foundation and the foundation which i'm going to review is uh this one dermacol this foundation has been in my makeup collection from last seven to eight months uh i have ordered it from the Raz when i was in pakistan and i have got the wrong shade the undertones of this foundation shade are pink which does not match with my skin tone so anyways i am going to apply it on my skin just for the sake of review how this uh how what is the consistency of this foundation and all uh, so this is the packaging as you can see it comes in a standard of 30 grams or 30 ml like other foundation it, it on this one on in this tube you get 30 grams and uh, it is made in eu um what else uh the expiry which is mentioned on this foundation is 24 months on the same box they have mentioned on oh, here it is 207 the shade and here it is 208 so i'm not sure i'm really confused uh, regarding the shade so here on the front of this foundation is it is mentioned it is waterproof spf 30 and hypoallergenic so I will just apply it on a part of my face. I'm not going to go on all over my face. It comes in a tube as you can see. Let me show you the consistency. See, you can see the shade is, it is really, really light for my skin tone. This is the consistency. It is a full coverage foundation. And so I will just start the application on my face. I will just uh, use the corrector because uh, this foundation shade is not going to match my skin tone. So I will just apply a little corrector so that I can neutralize it a bit for you guys to have a little idea of what is the finish of this foundation and all. After using a corrector, make sure not to drag your foundation, just stipple it on your skin, just tap, tap, tap. It is going to look really weird because I'm only applying it on a part of my face. But this is just for you to guys have an idea regarding this foundation. The thing what I like the most about this foundation is the finish what it gives. I really love the dewiness uh, what it gives. Like it's really beautiful. I, have, I really don't have any idea whether it is the original one or the fake one. But uh, the coverage is in front of you guys and the finish is also in front of you. It does provide a really beautiful glowy and satin finish. And... Uh, does come off on this side i have used my max to do fix powder plus foundation in this side it is derma cool the thing what i want to tell you guys is that if you are planning to wear this foundation for longer period of time you should uh, consider to set it because especially in your some smile lines and like uh, on the sides of the nose and if you have used it under the eyes set it properly because it is going to settle in in the fine lines and it is going to crease because uh, that has happened to me i have not filmed that clip or i don't have that clip to show you guys but uh, that's the thing what i want to tell you it is a uh, transferable and uh, i can clearly feel that it's coming off uh, from my face and uh, on my fingers so that's that it is emphasizing the texture on my skin and uh, my 
pores as well and uh, the texture on my skin is looking very really bad if i look closer so that's the thing you should consider if you are planning to buy this foundation if you have a textured skin though you can see my skin is very clear and i have like pimples on, on like over here but uh, i do have textured skin and those small 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 tiny bumps on my all over my face i have and it is this foundation is like over here you can see if you can see it is emphasizing it and uh, i will just wrap up this video over here if you have any questions regarding this foundation do let me know in the comments down below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel take very good care of yourselves and be safe bye